Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on, people? This is Influence. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I got a kingdom review, and it's Huffer. Huffer, the mini bot Huffer. Uh, you know how this goes. We got the box here, got the great artwork as usual. These box has been killing it as far as artwork got the product shots 14 steps got all those things happening and that's about it got the card again i got megatron i believe it's galvatron underneath oh no that's a different one. Oh, is this a... i had i think i had megatron and galvatron before so yeah, that's cool i got a different card don't know what i'm gonna do with them directions was cool didn't even use them except to figure out his extra parts. If you've ever had Huffer before, you know exactly how to transform him. Just about almost every incarnation of Huffer has transformed just about the same way. And it's cool. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So here we go. He is a little bit different because he has the extra parts, but you can take them off, which I will demonstrate in a minute. He's like a flatbed truck Connor now. But you can see, let me move him up a little bit. Uh, he's pretty clean. Looks like Huffer. What more can you say? Not much. We're not going to spend a great deal of time on this figure just because it's it's not a whole lot to do. Now he has this little flatbed truck that makes it look like, um, you know, like a flatbed, a kind of flatbed truck that can haul stuff and the outside matches. I like how they did that. I didn't even know. Uh, I'll get to it. This is the gun, but it's split in half. So you have these two sides and the inner workings. I think this is really smart because the inner inners of the gun is the same color as the truck. So when you have them on here, it matches and it makes the bed, you know, it looks like the bed liner. So it matches the inside. Then you just put this together like this. And this is the gun. See his gun there. Pretty nice gun. Got the orange peg, of course. I think they don't paint it for reasons, so they don't uh, not go in the holes. And then you have this thing right here, which is like the back of the truck. Not sure why they included this. I'm assuming because they changed his form up in the show. We'll see in a little bit, I'm sure. But then you have him more of his traditional. In mine, I don't know if I'm... Maybe I'm transforming this wrong, or maybe I don't have it down uh, correct. But you can see it's a little up like that. But it's still, the wheels seem to touch the ground. I don't see, this one drags a little bit. Uh, it's all right. It's probably just my mat. Thought maybe the, the chest dragged a little bit. See underneath, just like any other huffer, almost. So now let's get him, well, let me go over. I don't see nothing else to go over. Blue windows, but there's not much in there to see. Kind of looks like a regular truck. Looks like seats. So that's cool. I'm all right with blue windows when there's nothing in there. You can see his fist. They just fold down. I mean, there's not much to it. He, I assume I don't have Prime's truck, but I assume Earth Eyes Prime. The cab, he can carry the cab, which would make sense. Let's get him transformed. So first you flip these out. Like this. And you can split them. It's kind of on like a, a peg that, an in and out peg, kind of. So you split them. Then you take this right here. Flip that around. Pegs in there. Flip this around. It, it's like a soft peg. I don't know where it pegs. I guess it pegs up in, kind of in here. Yeah, it's a peg there. I think that like clamps on a little bit. But anyway, you have his legs. You have little ankle rockers. Of course, he's back heavy, but he's even more back heavy because he's not super correct. So now with this, I pull these down. It's a little thing you can push these arms up to. It's a little peg there. It doesn't really peg in, but it like slots in that space. And then there's pegs on the side here that help get those out a little bit 
then what you want to do, pull all this like this, of course. You can get his head around and push these wheels in towards his back. Then you move these arms up. You move them around. They tabbing up there. Tabbing up there. Then you can move these to be anatomically correct. As usual, you just push this back like that. And then this goes up here. It came like this, but I believe it should be like this. I guess you can get it however you want it if you think that looks too much. I like it like that because then it frees up the arms. But if you think it's too much, it can go like this. This is how it came in a box, but then the arms do hit it. But it does give a little more compactness to them. I like it like this. Uh, I believe Huffer just had that big, uh, that big cab above him. So 360 is a little hollow in the back area. Let me use this. It might be less focusing. Yeah, it's a little hollow in the back area there. Pretty clean elsewhere besides this big back. But, I mean, that's always going to be there on a Huffer figure. And his arms are clean. His whole body, his chest. Looks like Huffer. Yeah, it looks like Huffer to me. We go over uh, articulation. See his face. Face is pretty cool. I think that you know, looks like Huffer. Articulation, these arms can go up like that. They can go all the way around. His elbow, he has not a double jointed elbow. It does get a little tiny, tiny bit less than 90 degrees, but just about 90 degrees. Already showed this. Can go up and down, and it can move like this as well. Um, can move it up here. And Move it back, down, whatever you want to do. He does kind of have an ab crunch. It's more for transformation, and it's just the front part. But you can get it for, like, pictures or anything. The only bad part is his head. Let me show his head. It does spin around 360, but it doesn't do it. It goes down about that much, and it stays straight and no side to side. So there's not much articulation in his head. Uh, he has a waist. Waist swivel again his legs go does the splits and he can also do the hurdles easily both hands are uh don't think they move due to transformation but they can move in a little bit due to transformation his knees are just by the hollowness and transformation he can get full range it's not really double jointed, but he goes all the way up. Wheels, uh, I should do that vehicle mode, but they're just plastic, you know that. And his ankles rock about that much. Stops there, doesn't rock out. He has heel spurs that can go down, kind of, just because of mistransformation. But they're mainly stick up and no nothing else. No other uh, rocker. See him holding his gun. This is a five millimeter peg. Big old blaster. And he has this thing. You can stick on his front arm like this if you want, where you can have him using it. He can also stick it up here. It could be like a shield. Like he uses it uh, as a shield part. Well, you could, you could get this too. That ain't really articulation. That's more transformation. But just to show you, again, there's there's three different pegs. So then he can hold this if he wanted to in his hand, I think. I had it in his hand earlier. I mean, it goes in, but it's not, it's not the greatest. Well, I guess it doesn't fall out. It does go in, but it's not real far because they're shallow, shallow pegs. But over here, you can really get them on the sides and you can use it like a hand scoop or whatever or stick it on here if you want to kind of a leg a leg whatever oh and it can go on the back 
a peg back there where you can stick this back there and then it'll just stay, which is where I like it because it's just stored. I'll just store it. Pair them to some other figures. These are the ones that I have that can be compared to. I have another mini bot, which is a uh, Warpath. I think they look good together. They scale really well. I actually think they, they look good together. That's probably how big, you know, scale wise. He was always, he's a mini bot, so he was always little, but he was strong. And that's it. That's about it for comparisons. Been a uh, review for Huffer. And this is a Kingdom Huffer, to be exact. Yeah, I, I really, I re actually really like this figure. I like the way it looks. I think it looks like Huffer. It's a good, a good mainline figure. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, do everything you need to do on YouTube. So to show support and I will get up with you guys in another video. Stay safe and have a great day, night, evening, where, whatever time it is. Ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no As long as you alive, you can give another try And take it real high if you want